Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Aliens and UFOs Encounters video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's mix this one here. This one coming from the reddit.com website. There from the subreddit called The Truth Is Here. This one is actually a pretty lighthearted story. Normally some of the other encounters that we talk about here, it's usually something that's very far away from someone, like in this case a far away UFO or a more scary experience involving an abduction or something else that was just truly terrifying. But no, in this case, you could absolutely consider it almost a visit from friends the way that this user stated and they even capped it off as such. It was almost very lighthearted to read this information. But it comes from a user by the name of HBF0422 and they titled it A Revisitation. Again, that gives the idea that this has happened to them more than once. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that encounter here. And then as always, I'll give my own thoughts on it afterward. So here's what they stated. Despite hateful comments from the hardcore skeptics, here I am still posting my own experiences as I experienced them. I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything or change anyone's belief. I am simply telling my experience, so take it with a grain of salt like the kids say. And so this experience took place during the night and within my subconscious. Call it a dream, a vision, or whatever, this felt different. It started as as I was sitting in my living room with my wife, and I don't remember how they appeared, but when they were here, they almost looked like a hologram, a light blue, semi-solid hologram. I slowly became extremely happy when they were here, almost like I was seeing an old friend for the first time in years, and they even matched my happiness. The tallest being looked down at me and began to smile at me, and I could definitely notice a visible relief of tension in their posture, almost as if they were worried how I would respond to their showing up, and now finally became relaxed and relieved. They were one of the same tall, long-necked, gray-skinned, wide-headed beings I had met during one of my previous encounters. This was even a second smaller being there, barely taller than our coffee table, not even four feet tall. They look like your typical gray, except I didn't get a good look at them. They looked like they had a large forehead with prominent eyes, but I was more focused on the taller being that I had met before. It definitely feels like one of the three beings I met last time. Now the main being was tall, almost to our ceiling, and we have an eight foot ceiling. So it had a long neck, skinny body, long arms, round eyes with an oval outer shape. Their eyes did not look like ours and had a golden bark, like brown speckle coloration to them. They weren't the dark color that I saw last time. They had pupils, the whites of their eyes like we have, and I even saw their clothes. Their clothes looked like a tight-fitting, yet baggy, jumpsuit robe type thing. I got the feeling that they looked brown, almost beige or tan colored, and their skin was smooth with a rough-looking texture to it. Their head was a little more of a rounded mantis shape with an angular chin, a human-like mouth, and they had teeth and a tongue. I saw them both when they smiled down at me. Now, there wasn't any sort of communication except for a brief hello, but it did feel like they were here to check up on me. I don't remember anything after what happened, but I do feel something happened. It was a very peaceful encounter, and I'm absolutely thankful that it happened. If anyone has had similar things happen to them, I'd love to share our experiences. Love and light, my friends. And then that's it. That's everything that the user mentioned in their entry. So let's go ahead and let's talk about more regarding that particular encounter. For starters, what was interesting was that, again, the title being A Revisitation, it states that this has happened more than once. I mean, obviously, this user mentioned it later on in the entry that this was another visit from them. They kept referring it as the last time and then previous times before. Here, though, it looked like it happened right there within the living room. It's difficult to tell, though, because even that user was stating it may have been a dream. It may have been something else like a vision. Who knows? Maybe time was even stopped and he was pulled into some other type of dimension. But either way, though, all of a sudden they were there in his living room 
And they were a little hard to be able to discern, like how they look like, other than being a semi-solid hologram with your typical gray alien type fashions. So in other words, the bulbous head, the small mouth, the thin pointed chin, the long arms and so on. Interesting that there were variations on the height too. One of them being eight feet tall, almost touching the ceiling. And then the other one, the shortest, being barely enough to go above the actual coffee table themselves. Makes me wonder, it was there variations of heights because of age, if you could even call it that within the world of aliens? How uh, maybe some of them were child aliens or something else? Who knows? But that's just, again, another estimation on that. And then the fact that these were there and this guy, again, referred them to as old friends and made it seem like they were there to truly check up on him. How about that? Here they were visiting him again in his house, in this case, the living room. And he even stated at one point that they almost seemed nervous about their encounter. It was like they had a rigid posture when they first came on board. But then afterward, realizing that they didn't want to create a more tense situation, they became more relaxed, like their bodies, I guess, slumped or went into some other more relaxed fashion and then that in turn made this user more relaxed as well and then they were able to smile at him that's a first i haven't heard that before when it comes to the world of aliens usually like the, some of the other close encounters i've read about it's where they're either talking with someone telepathically or pointing to things to make sure that somebody is kind of understanding um, what the situation is. But here, they were smiling at them and, I guess, you know, communicating with him in some form or fashion. But a big, a smile is a big way of going to a good place. Like, if anything smiles at you, then that's essentially a, an indication that, yes, everything is okay. They're here to be able to, I guess, meet with them in a friendly fashion. And then that was it. That was really a really great way of doing a form of communication with this user. And then that was it. There really wasn't much else other than that brief hello. And then they were off. Um, I guess they placed this user back from his dream or back from whatever parallel universe that they were in. And then they were gone to be left or to be continued as they state in the movies. But interesting stuff. Again, one of the most friendlier encounters when it comes to um, a visit from these greys. Something else that I've mentioned uh, compared to some of the other things that I've mentioned before, the other encounters in the past, this one absolutely jumps to the top when it comes to being a good type of encounter. But that's pretty much it. If anybody has any more info, anything else I might have missed on these type of encounters, maybe others being friendly as well, then please post those comments below. What about those of you on the more local side? Maybe you have had a similar type of encounter with these greys that are semi-solid holograms and so on. I'd love to hear what your comments are there too. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.